The best way to invest more in Switzerland 2022. How to pick a very safe Swiss private bank and an asset manager who gets results as a foreigner? Please be alerted that the Swiss private banking industry is untransparent. The wrong choice of banks and Swiss investment firms is the main reason for substantial losses. There are 286 Swiss banks and 2,500 independent asset managers. How to tell if a bank is safe? Only very few investors know how to judge the safety of a bank. I saw non-resident investors losing all their savings because of greedy bankers and product pushers. It's simply too much to handle for a non-resident investor like you. Making the right choice is difficult, if not impossible, without professional advice. I don't leave it to the coincidence. Here I come into play. I will introduce you to the Saved Swiss Bank and top hand-picked asset manager. I will show you the best way to invest money in Switzerland. Your money will grow step by step and multiply in the future. Based on my advice, you will become a successful investor. All my happy clients became successful investors. That's why I never lost a client. Stay with me. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. My name is Enzo Caputo. I am a Swiss banking lawyer advising private clients from all over the world on how to do safe investments. I am the owner of the boutique law firm Caputo and Partners and the founder of SwissBankingLawyers.com, the place where successful international business people find tips and solutions to better protect their assets with Swiss banks and pay less tax. First, you need a Swiss bank account for non-resident investors like you. You need a Swiss investment account with one of the safest Swiss private banks. Say goodbye to the savings accounts. You lose money with saving accounts because of low interest, weak currency, high fees and inflation. If you leave your money in your savings account, you will lose purchasing power, the real value of your money. You lose it. Therefore, you should invest your money for rainy days with a very safe Swiss bank. The Swiss banks we suggest to our clients have no leveraged balance sheet. They are not involved in derivatives. No risky lending activities, no credit exposures with mortgages, no trade finance activity, no letters of credit, no bank guarantees, etc. We do not recommend Swiss banks outsourcing the data processing with sensitive client information in cheap labor countries outside Switzerland. The safest Swiss banks we suggest to our clients have a tier 1 capital ratio exceeding 20%. We only work with the safest Swiss private banks focused on wealth management. We exclusively work with the most capitalized banks in the world. Did you know that some Swiss banks like Credit Suisse and UPS, for example, are outsourcing sensitive client information outside Switzerland to other countries like Poland? Our partner banks do not outsource the processing of sensitive client data outside of Switzerland just because it's cheaper. We don't like that. I will help you with the Swiss bank account opening procedure. It will take a week to 10 days. Opening a Swiss bank account is not easy as it was 20 years ago. The Swiss private banks will ask questions about how the money was made. Due to very strict anti-money laundering laws and regulations, they must document the origin of your money. But that's a good thing. Banks not asking questions when they open accounts are Wild West banks. If a bank takes money without asking questions about the history of funds, just run away. It's not the right bank. It's not a good bank. You will lose your money with a bank like this. Remember, good banks ask questions. If you like to know the names of the safest Swiss private banks, just give me a call on the number in the caption above. There are two ways for opening a Swiss bank account. The first way is to visit the bank alone and apply for an investment account. Uh, and then you do the standard procedure. The second and best way is to engage a service provider like Caputo Partners. 
Let me introduce you to the safest Swiss banks covering your needs and expectations. I'm not exposed to conflict of interest situation as private bankers are. They are employed and paid by Swiss banks. Their advice is not always in your best interest. As a foreigner, you should never walk alone into a Swiss bank. Never go alone in a bank. I will disclose the risk later in this video. When choosing the safest Swiss private bank for depositing your assets and outperforming Swiss wealth advisors who outperform the benchmark, do not rely on chance or luck or on the advice of a private banker or a coincidence or the well-intentioned advice of a family member or an old friend or on your instinct. Don't do that. When your wealth is concerned, you should only rely on the genuine long-term track records of proven professionals. I will take care of the pre-compliance procedure and present your file on a silver plate to the bank and asset manager. Swiss banks always feel safer and have more comfort when opening accounts with a service provider like they trust. They feel safer working with a law firm or family offices having already screened the client and the origin of funds. A multifamily office typically is a company managing the wealth of wealthy families with above 10 million Swiss francs assets. My 30 years of professional experience shows that most investors have recognized their bad investments only after having suffered millions of losses. Only after. The wrong choice of banks and Swiss investment firms is the main reason for substantial losses. Learn from the mistakes of others. If you hire a good independent financial advisor in Switzerland, the same as the big family offices are doing, your returns will be four times better than if you have your money managed by a bank. I show you how to easily recognize the good Swiss wealth advisors and unmask wealth destroyers before you start investing your money. That's very important. Discover them before. This insider information will give you the answers you always wanted to know, but your private banker kept secret. SwissBankingLawyers.com We fight for your money. As the former CEO of the Swiss Association of Asset Managers, I know the Swiss financial consulting industry very well. I know the dirty tricks of the product pushers disguised as private bankers. Later, I will tell you a story, a real story of a victim of a product pusher. A product pusher is a dishonest consultant selling products who are generating kickbacks or a bonus for the product pusher. Due to my special connections, I got access to reliable and genuine data on 115 real existing investment portfolios with a long track record of 10 years. They were managed directly by a Swiss bank or independent financial advisor in Switzerland. According to my calculation, based on 115 case studies and 30 years of professional experience, only 29% of the portfolios analyzed outperformed the benchmark. Only 29%. Among these 29% outperformers, only 20% of them were Swiss private banks, while 80% were independent Swiss investment firms. During the last 13 years, my best-in-class wealth managers made between 8 and 12% a year on average for my clients. I never lost a client in the last 13 years. You will get better results with an independent asset manager. The external asset manager should be fully independent of the bank. You should use your bank just as a custody service provider, as a safe platform to deposit your investment. That's it, not more. Can a financial advisor be independent? Yes, he must be. Avoid a bank-owned asset management firm under the same corporate umbrella as the bank. In case of a conflict, this will backfire. The money manager should be subject to a financial advisor regulation in Switzerland or a professional organization, for example, the Swiss Association of Asset Managers. Swiss banks tend to invest money in their homemade financial products. That's one of the main reasons why independent asset managers not offering homemade products deliver four times better results than banks. They invest in the best product for the client and not in the best product for the bank. SwissBankingLawyers.com We fight for your money. What are the most common mistakes and risks that can destroy your wealth? Risk number number one is overpricing. 
I will tell you the industry standards. You will be familiar with fair pricing. Charging high fees will become impossible. You must avoid bank internal financial products with hidden fees. Avoid leverage portfolios with Lombard loans. For increasing the number of assets under management, product pushers are often offering very cheap loans below 1% interest rate against your portfolio as a pledge. When markets go down, you can lose everything instantly like that. Avoid risky hedge funds and structured products promoted by product pusher. The last common risk is the lack of hedging strategies. Good asset managers have hedging strategies in place to protect their clients' money. I learned that honest and outperforming asset managers can't be found around the corner. I will introduce you a handful of impeccable professionals who are not doing the five mentioned common mistakes. Before telling you the story of one of my clients who was the victim of a product pusher and lost substantial amounts of money, let me tell you the truth about portfolio performance. Here is what I have found out based on my 115 case studies. Please prepare yourself. Be prepared because the following information will shock you. Among the outperformers, the 29% of portfolio managers that made better results than the benchmark, only 20% were banks and 80% were independent asset managers, as we said before. Let me repeat, among the good portfolio managers, only 20% were banks while 80% were external asset managers. Unbelievable, isn't it? Let's put it in other words. Good asset managers are four times more likely to be found among Swiss wealth managers than among Swiss banks. Meanwhile, it's an open secret that Swiss private bankers are under massive pressure to sell investment funds and structured products issued by the bank they work for. The controversial bonus policy of the big Swiss banks is transforming honest private bankers into greedy product pushers. Let me tell you a typical real-life case example taken from my daily business. Let me tell you a story of a client who was the innocent victim of a product pusher. Before I start, let me give you some legal information. Due to legal consequences, I will not disclose any data of banks and clients in this true case. However, I will disclose an astonishing fact. The bank involved is one of the largest banks in Switzerland. The following information has been slightly changed to protect the client. The rest of the facts correspond to the reality. Last January 2022, a foreign client from Kuwait with a $20 million portfolio, being the victim of a product pusher, came to my office. We fight for your money. He submitted his portfolio statement. The assets were managed by one of the big Swiss banks. He asked me why he has made only a 1.2% return in the last year of 2021 while others made 15% in the same year. As we know, 2021 was an exceptional year for investments in stocks. After a quick look of only one minute into the portfolio statement, I discovered that $25 million were invested exclusively in investment funds, hedge funds and structured products. This is a no-go for big money like this. The funds have been issued by the same big Swiss bank. Investment funds are super expensive. They have hidden fees. The product pusher, a greedy private banker, justified the poor results with the argument of reducing risks with a wide diversification. I told him that with a 25 million portfolio, there is no need for diversification of in, uh, with investment funds. There is by far enough money to diversify with direct investment in stocks and bonds instead of investing in super expensive funds, structured products, illiquid hedge funds and funds of funds as suggested by the product pusher. I told him that he can easily compose his own fund with direct investments. Unfortunately, this legal ripoff strategy is very common among the big Swiss banks. It's a common knowledge in the private banking industry that direct investments in stocks are outperforming indirect investments with expensive funds. Fund investments can be justified for small portfolios worth less than $1 million. The truth is that 90% of the performance has been shared between the Swiss bank and the product pusher instead of him as a client. Obviously, 
The payment to the product pusher has been disguised as a bonus payment. Bonus payments are very frequent in the Swiss private banking industry. Subsequently, it was very easy for me to convince him to immediately cancel the asset management agreement with the bank and sign a new one with the best in class independent asset manager I suggested. Today, he is using the same Swiss bank as a depository bank, not more, only as a depository bank. The big Swiss bank will never manage my client's assets again. Insider information just like this cannot be found in universities, in libraries and not on the internet. If you like information just like this, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel now and ring the bell. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell. By doing so, you will never miss a new video. If you need a Swiss bank account with the safe Swiss bank, call us now. Your account will be operative within a week or maximum 10 days. I will introduce you to the best Swiss bank for foreigners and the best in class asset manager who will grow your portfolio step by step. Our happy clients are happy because they make money with us step by step, year by year. If you have a very confidential question you would like to discuss with me, grab your mobile phone now and dial 0041442124404. It's never too early to protect and diversify your assets, transferring a big part of your assets to Switzerland. Bring your money out of your country before your country will take your money out of you. Be rich and stay rich. Have a wonderful day.